Hey YouTube, this is Charlie guys and today what I'm going to do is to upgrade my my laptop. This is my Asus Q504. I've had this from uh, for a little less than well, I've had this for less than a year and it's been giving me a bit of a bit of problem especially at starting up it's really slow, a lot of not I'm um, non-responsive, so I want to upgrade it. So I went to the store so I got myself a SSD card on there. Um, so I did go ahead and got this one. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go ahead and open this up um, and we'll go from there. I'll, I'll try to walk you guys through it as quick as possible and hope that it worked for me. If it worked for me, believe me, it's gonna work for you. Okay, we have the, we have the computer turned over. I got myself a plate. The reason why is to put those small screws in. I have cap it there. This, I have cap it on the ground. So if this fall on the cap, you're definitely gonna lose them. Okay, so the type of screwdriver you want to use for this is a, it's a kind of a Starship screwdriver. Um, you may have to go to Best Buy or somewhere or, or Fry's to get that kind of screw pattern. I don't know if you can see it right here, but it's a kind of a Starship. You're going to have to remove those legs right here, underneath here. Make sure you just scratch your, because there's some screws right here and, and there's none on this one. We're gonna go ahead and start unscrewing. Here we are guys, we are open. Remove those. So we have the plate out. Remove the old hard drive and we can get our back in. So that's complete and we're going to put our keys back on. Okay, so we are done. So the next thing you want to do is to go to the Microsoft website. You want to download a creative tool onto a flash drive or onto a, a disk. And you want to put it in right here. And we're going to start the computer. 
and we want to. So it's already it's already seen it. So let's just go ahead and do it. This one to see if it will if it will work. If it doesn't work, we'll have to try something else. So it does recognize it, and we're gonna click next. We're gonna click install. And go this one. Install. Step. Next, and you have one drive here, so we're gonna click next. So, guys, that's basically it. Um, Windows is installing. Um, if this doesn't work for you, especially on this computer, I will leave some um, information down below where you can um, go into your BIOS, um, disable boot control. Um, you want to also you want to enable CSM support and um, launch PXE and click select and continue from there. Yes. So I really wasn't expecting that to be done so quick. That means that the drive is working really fast. Want to stick with that? Yes. You also type with another keyboard layout. Now let's get you connected to a network. That way you can get up. Now type your credentials. It's amazing how fast I can already feel the, the quickness in the response of it already. So guys, this is it. This is it. This is it. It's set up. Um, it's working pretty good. This is Charlie. Like and subscribe again. Now let's see what's new from I'm Windows. Out.